That's right, Steve. As you just heard, the mayor calling it the city of electric vehicles, and one of those companies is going to be setting up shop right behind me here. They're already uh, signing their lease to get going on this uh, $10 million headquarters. The company, IANA, has a big goal of trying to expand that EV network across the country, and they're doing that work right here. Squeezing in a quick charge before a trip to Virginia. I have one, wife has one. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> Troy Bailey is a proud Tesla owner. The speed, the um, not having gas, it's, 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 it's a great car. When daughter Madison gets her license, she doesn't see gas cars in her future either. By the time I'm older and my kids can my have kids and they can start driving, I think it might be the future of cars. But that future will require a lot more charging stations. While Tesla has its own network like this station in Cary, Across the country, the infrastructure law is providing funds to expand that network. One company has an ambitious goal, 30,000 high-powered EV charging stations across North America. They've gotten Honda, Hyundai, Mercedes, BMW, and GM, among others, on board. And as of yesterday, Toyota makes number eight. And they're planning to do it all based out of this complex off Alexander and Durham. They have their lease signed and they are building out their space. They are moving full speed ahead. The Durham Chamber of Commerce says being the home of the research triangle, our low cost of living and focus on education make it an easy sell for a new and fast growing industry. A city that's growing like ours and a region that's growing like ours, there's a lot of opportunity for new ways of thinking and really great universities here to help bring them the talent they need. Durham Mayor Leo Williams says with other companies like ChemPower also setting up shop, our city's reputation precedes itself, and now it's about reaping the benefits for local workers. We've done our part. We've made sure that our community is attractive. And, you know, while we're talking about electric charge stations, the real story is we're getting more jobs. We're getting more jobs that pay a really good wage. As the Bull City charges into the fast lane. But now we're the city of a lot more things. You know, we're the city of medicine, city of champions, city of uh, sciences, the city now of electric vehicles. Yeah, and this office here in Durham expected to bring 200 jobs to the Bull City. And it's not just about bringing those jobs. The city of Durham also wants to kind of practice what it preaches when it comes to EVs. They're also uh, hoping to uh, change the city's own fleet to all electric. DPS is also going to be moving towards uh, EV school buses. So uh, part of the goal also making sure that drivers here in our area have enough charging stations once all those uh, pop up across the region, guys. Yeah.